everyone. This is Polywell, and welcome to a weird voiceover episode <laughs> oh, no. of Ultimate Shipyard. Not Ultimate Shipyard, though I do kind of want to call it Ultimate Shipyard. Ultimate Admiral Sh Shipyard Champions. And this is the first episode of Season 5. It's a great start, can't you tell? <laughs> cool. Alright, I recorded this and completely forgot to turn my microphone on because I had to turn it off for something else I was recording at the time. Whoops. Anyways, today I took a screenshot. Well, I wouldn't call it a screenshot. I, I basically saved one frame from the video and I'm just going to use that so you can read with me. Today's episode is Uncle Sam's new warship. The United States has decided that it requires a new ship, one that can single-handedly take on one of its old flotillas, and has outsourced the shipping, not after the shipping, but the shipbuilding, to multiple nations, stating that it, only the best will be selected and purchased. This brings us to your part of the story. You will act as Chief of Naval Engineering and design a single ship that will follow the USA's naval doctrine closely, see below as well as its captain to command it in simulated battle against a U.S. fleet variants of varying size. Also see below. My warship cannot be USA. I chose Austria-Hungary as I normally do. Any ship class, so I chose the Super Battleship. Because why not? <laughs> 1950s technology. The enemy fleet must be USA, which I did do. 1950s technology. And it says here, 10 transports, but if you get down to the scoring, you'll find out that's not what's going to happen. For the scoring, it's based on the number of guns, barrels, like actual guns, not turrets, will be your base score. Add a multiplier to the score for upping the enemy ship class. For instance, t transports is times 1, destroyers are times 2, C uh, CLs are times 3, and heavy cruisers are times 4, and so on. I chose heavy cruisers, as you'll see in a minute, and that's that's it. That's all they really have for the what's the word I'm looking for for the restrictions. Multiple gun barrels, maybe anything. So what I ended up doing is do do. I went with, as I told you, Austria Hungary, and. Oh, and 9,000 meters for the thing. Hang on one second. There we go. Had to change something quick while this was going on. It's in, day, it's in sunset mode because I always like to do sunset. And here is our beautiful Gatling. It's wonderful and I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a little bit of stuff going on there, you know. A L little bit of low... Low, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? A little bit of low angle. It's like a case wing. Doesn't really do stuff. That said, I think it's gonna be good. I know it's good. And here we are. It's go time. Look at that beautiful Gatlin go. Look at it. So much lead flying all at once. I do think I made a poor choice. I used semi ballistic shells here, knowing that I was going against heavy cruisers. And I think it just wasn't quite doing as much penetration damage as I'd like. And oh, yeah, that, there was a lot of torpedoes, can't you tell? <laughs> Later, I will look and see that each heavy cruiser had 13 torpedoes on each side, so it had 26 torpedoes per all together. So, with 10 of those, that meant 130 per, per shot, you know, 13 on each side, so it'll shoot 130, then turn and shoot another 130, and I just suffer through it all. Thankfully, the Gatlin was made with a ridiculous amount of torpedo protection, because I was expecting some torpedoes, and I didn't want it to hurt me much. I was not expecting this many torpedoes. And the original commentary is just me completely being flabbergasted by the amount of torpedoes. I still haven't fully recovered from the mental damage. Oh, there it is. More torpedoes. <laughs> Poor Gatlin. 
Poor gallon. It's okay, girl. You got this. Oof. Oof. But hey, she's a tank. She can she can make it through this. This isn't nothing. This this is fine. It, it's fine. That'll buff out. That'll, that'll buff out. See, she's not, not really hurting. 94%. That's that's not bad. I can I can live with that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh yeah, there's me realizing what's going on and Maryland sinking. Five inch guns and 7.3, that's actually pretty small for a heavy cruiser for me. I'm used to seeing heavy cruisers being like eights and nines from the AI. So that's actually kind of small. I wasn't looking at that though because I was busy being well attacked by a bunch of torpedoes <laughs> and as you can see despite all this Gatlin's doing a pretty good job it's already taken out about 40% of them it looks like roughly 40% of them there might be another sunken one in there so it might be half oh no there we go that's the half actual halfway point and just -da 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 -da. look at her go look at her go look at all that lead it's just beautiful. I really should have named her the Executor because that also threw a lot of, well, not lead, but turbo laser fire. And, whoop, more torpedoes. Look at that. Here they come. Whee! Oh, man. It, <laughs> so, less, so much less stressful when I'm not actually playing, playing. <laughs> Yeah, Gallon's doing a good job. By the way, we we have been talking and we are very much considering doing multiplayer stuff for this season of Shipyard Champion, so look forward to that when we get around to it. Right now the game is a bit buggy though, and people are having issues getting their tonnage correct. Like, one of the menus is not getting the tonnage correct. So. I don't know if we'll see a video from me before that gets fully fixed or not, but we'll see. It kind of depends on what's going on. I got that French campaign going on that I got it, it edited up and taken out. So it'll kind of be in between there and the German campaign for any personal videos on the multiplayer. Oof. More torpedoes. Ooh. I wasn't kidding. There was a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> so many torpedoes. But she just tanks them. She just tanks them along. Yeah, she's on fire. And people die. But she's still alive, unlike all those heavy cruisers. I mean, look at them. They're just getting wiped out by the massive amount of AIDS. I do... Part of me does wonder if maybe I should have risked it for the biscuit. Yeah, risked it for the biscuit. <laughs> I meant the biscuit. That's the word I want. I wonder if I should have just tried battle cruisers because this would have been perfectly fine, I think. But knowing my luck, that would have been the one time it would have been battle cruisers with 20 inch guns. It would not have ended well. And that's basically it. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this. And look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful ship. <laughs> Oop, a little bit of blip of something there. Anyways. Have a good afternoon, evening, day, twilight, whatever it is, as long as it's a good one. Let me know if you want to see the Gatlin take on Battle Cruisers, because we'll try that next. I'm, I'm not afraid to do a little video on that. Anyways, ta-ta for now, and I will see you next time, where it'll be French. French time. Yep. Bye-bye.